This is the best beast jerky in the world. If you are watching this show and you have the hookup, on where we can put Western Survivor beef jerky. We, this company, is an arm wrestling beef jerky company. As this product does good, so does arm wrestling. Does everyone understand that? All right. I love beef jerky. Send me my package. I need to taste it so I can talk about it like Travis. I got some elbow pain. Hold on. Oh, hold <laughs> on. Jamie, uh, Nat Fit, since 2017, he's got big plans for the sport of arm wrestling. 2021, we're glad to have him on board. He's got over 20 different products that uh, range from, you know, kids to old people. So check it out. Jamie Shellen, Nat Fit. Bam. Jamie did not want to be the second sponsor. And for you to give him that introduction. What he paid for was for the beast to say, welcome aboard, Jamie. We love you. The community loves you. We do. Not just because you have arm TV tattoo. He's a genuine good dude. They don't make him any better than that dude. What's up, dog? He bait you. What's happening? Can you see the James Neal diversified services right there? You Who's see James? it, right? Uh, James Neal's my local buddy here in Martinsburg doing all your home improvement, deck, siding, roofing jobs. And all I know is $1,500 later, here James Neal is. Right here, baby. Hold on, I if forgot. Anybody Hold on. else? Let's put on my T agent shirt. Unfiltered. Damn it. Are you good? You good? You're representing our next sponsor, the Reebok CrossFit Games. Yeah. Hey, what's? Hey, I talked to Sevon. I talked to Sevon. What? For a. F- 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Sevan Matosi? 30 minutes is no longer former CrossFit employee as of October 1st. Sevan Matosian is a free agent. What? That is, I can't imagine. I a world. need to tell the arm wrestling world right now the team is Gary Roberts, Travis Bajan, Sevan Matosian. No, don't, don't, don't play if with me, man. We, listen, if don't we play put with that me. team together. Don't play with me. We could run the YouTube, the business through Gary Roberts under the direction and financial guidance of Oh, my goodness. Do I say the name right here? I don't know if I should say the name. What? Who cares? But he pays for Sevan Matosian to be the producer of the reality show that I've been telling you that we should have. The above ground Travis Bajan arm wrestling experience and the below underground crazy psycho match at the end of every episode against some local hero in some part region of the world. This dude, Savon, can put this together. Can I have I my tournament? Can. can I have my tournament at the same location? Yes. Are you kidding me? You're in charge. <laughs> you are in charge. Savon Matosian is back? He did not say yes to any of this. I did not even talk to him about this. I just got to what? talk to him for a half hour and well, found you can't. out. You can't. Listen, this is the project for him. First of all, he's running his damn kids around to every jujitsu, tennis master, uh, skateboard extraordinaire. The dude's got heavy burden of financial yeah. commitments. He, I know he saved a little. I know he bought him a couple cribs in the Bay Area. But I'm saying, 
He needs money. And we need him. He did he say, did he say, I want to do something with arm wrestling? No. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Wait. No, he didn't even mention arm wrestling. He hates arm wrestling. But I did talk to him for one half an hour about <laughs> life. I'm just telling, listen, we got to approach Savon with the money. We need the $20,000 to run the first teaser episode of our stud conglomeration. So that's the thing. You can do it for less than $20,000. No, no, not what I'm trying to do. I'm talking a full episode of the Game of Arms. Produced, directed, written, starred by Travis the Beast Vision. His version. And all the fun stuff that goes along with the week of preparation going into running an event somewhere in this United States. You're and missing the boat, man. You're missing the boat, dude. Man, we what already are ta- you talking we about? Already ta- we already You're talked crazy. about this. crazy. I'm we telling you, about- I, yeah, I've already ta- I've talked about this a lot. But I have I know. I know. But look. Savon back. I got Savon back. I know. But look at the numbers. Look at Schoolboy's channel, Alex's channel, for an example. After he went to Larry Wheels, their channel was getting four to five million views a day. It's 25% of the traffic that the NFL is getting. And you tell me how much is Alex spending on production for TV shows. I mean, his flight to Dubai. You well, don't listen, need. I you do don't not need. want to be Alex. I don't no, want to you, be Alex. But you I don't, want to be Kim Kardashian. I know, but you I don't want need. to be huge. And, huge. And, and if you reach the point where you're getting a million views a day, then you can up your production value. I'm but you straight. can do it on I, a lower budget. Nah, well, I am doing it on a lower budget. Twenty That's what grand the fuck is I'm not doing a lower right budget. Now. Twenty grand no, is not, I'm not a lower doing budget. It. I'm not doing it with twenty grand. I'm doing it with two dollars and thirteen cent right now. No, but Look you around. said we need. You said we need no, twenty grand. I need, not we, not we. I, I need twenty thousand dollars in order to bring the four or five professional camera guys that I have worked with in the past to do the complete. 100% episode, the whole fucking sound, the everything to be beautiful so that I will have that in the canister so that we can blow way above some faggot ass YouTube channel on our wrestling. You're dumb. Are you crazy? You're, you're dumb. Okay. You're That's dumb. what I'm going to do. I'm getting ready to do it. Game of Arms had commercials during The Walking Dead and still couldn't do it. So What do you mean they couldn't do it? They did it. They canceled it. Well, they canceled it because they were competing with The Walking Dead and the, uh, um, Mad Men and Breaking Bad. I mean, it just so happened that AMC had six All-Americans on the team when this amazing dude showed up. There was just nowhere for him. But if we would have got those 5 million views that we had on Showtime, or I'm sorry, on the History Channel or TMZ, we'd have been their third best show in the history of their network. So just relax a little bit on saying. And they didn't do it as good a job that we are going to do. They spread the love too far. All the love needs to be right here. Just follow this fucking thing. I have mastered it, and let's get it out to everybody. Everybody. And then after our show hits and we get our 5 million views, like when you make that comparison about Schoolboy and the NFL, I'm telling you right now, I'd rather be the NFL. I don't care if you think they're losing or they've got a bad model. It's not I bad- want to – the, the NFL, not the whatever no. YouTube channel. Dude, dude, you're missing my point. 
my point is the NFL, the Super Bowl gets millions of dollars for a 30 second commercial. And if I go to the advertiser who's paying millions of dollars and I say, listen, you stupid assholes are missing out on YouTube. Here's this channel of an arm wrestler. They're getting 25% of NFL's traffic and people aren't spending $5. You're spending millions for 30 seconds. I could give you 20 years of content for millions of dollars in arm wrestling. That's my point is they're doing arm wrestling, but you have to. And my, I want fun. to have, I want to be big. And right now's the time to do it right now. Okay. So going off, we, we totally are not where I thought I was going to be. Uh, you're the star, the reality show. Who's your fir first five episodes? Who are the guys that can match you to make the show interesting? The first episode is in Erie, Pennsylvania against Tom Taylor. And it is a all, actually, it's, it starts in Erie. And for about 20 minutes, you get introduced to Tom Taylor. Six foot five, 200 and... I'm 65 pound athlete, right? That is going to come to West Virginia, right? And be in this club that I have right up the street here. That is a predominantly black owned, operated and customer based. And I am going to pack that with 300 black people. My best fucking friends and family are going to be there. Okay. And Tom Taylor is going to be the guy that I'm arm wrestling. All week, you are going to get a feel from Dave Chafee and Bart Wood and the entire community in Erie about the pain and suffering that Tom Taylor has done throughout his life. And he has come in here, and we're going to arm wrestle. And then earlier that day, I'm going to do something. I'm going to have a fundraiser for the Shepherd and Martinsburg football teams. And you're going to see me arm wrestle 200 football players the night before right and then the next day i get the call that tom is in town and he's at the club and i'm gonna walk in the club by myself the only white guy in the club and i'm gonna walk through this little long tunnel where there's sparingly customers everywhere and every one of them happen to be an african-american and they are looking at me like who the fuck is this soft ass white boy coming in here to fuck with our guy? Right. And as you get closer and it starts to spread, you're going to see Tom Taylor overlooking this light. Almost looks like he's in the alleyway playing, um, playing craps as you're walking through the alleyway. You don't know what the huddle is, but as it opens up, you see the arm wrestling table. You see Tom going crazy. There is no chance that I can win because of how we have built Tom up and the fact that you, the public, know that I just arm wrestled a 1,000 football players the night before. But the fact is, is all of a sudden, as I get closer, the beast starts coming out too. And then we arm wrestle, and lo and behold, the champ is the champ. And then when I exit that place, now there's a different feel about it. It ain't this chump-ass dude that walked in the building. It's the baddest dude he ever seen leaving the building with the money. And the next week, you get flashed on to Scott Mendelson and my trip to Los Angeles, where I walk in and there's Larry Wills and there's Eric Spoto and every other 27 of the biggest monsters, bodybuilding heroes you've ever seen. Okay. And the day okay. before, I do the Cooper Tire event. Okay. So I'm all I'm in. Up. I'm That's in. The I'm show. in. Fine. Fine. That's fine. That's the fine. show. Now you said what? you need 20 grand. What is I that 20 grand to going to? What it's is that 20 grand? It's only going to the staff, the most amazing, cheapest, studly staff in the world to film it, edit it, voice over it, um, and then give it to us. And we have it. We can send it out to the world. And then after it either becomes an internet show with a cheaper budget or it becomes the number one show on TV for seven, eight seasons. 
And then we, before you know it, we go to Japan and take on the sumo wrestler. We go to um, Jeff Dave and take on uh, the beast. You know what I mean? Every single stereotype you can imagine, we attack it. We go to the biker gang, right? And we arm wrestle Tom Nelson's, the head of the freaking Black Scorpions up there in NorCal. And we do the exact same fight scene we did before, right? Everything. Pants down, nuts over the face, every part of it. We rock it, right? The stuff has already been done. Every single thing that I'm going to do has already been done. And then I'm going to go to Moldova and I'm going to go to Australia and we're going to take this thing everywhere because all we have to do is embrace the fact that we need a hero. We need someone to introduce this thing to everybody in such a cool ass way that it has no choice but to rise the tide so high that we are pimping. Like we become the craziest pimps in the world. And you know what I'm going to do when I hit? I'm going to share it with all my boys. And I'm going to be the same dude that okay, I am so, now. So then you, did, you don't just need 20 grand. You need, let's say a pilot is eight episodes. A pilot season is eight episodes. I don't need a so pilot need- season. I just need an episode. I'm telling you right now, if I see it, I see it right now. I've seen it forever. And listen, we could probably do Scott Mendelson's first because that's a great one too, right? We can do Jeff Dave's first, right? It doesn't matter. All I know is that there is one that's already happened oh, in Jeff my Dave? brain. Yeah. The guy Jeff with the big Dave hand? is the, yeah, the big, I mean, that's, you know, that guy is an awesome character for that. The fact is, is that he's an interesting left-handed competitor for the world to be introduced to and he's a great dude you know what i mean can he slow you down i hope not but you know what listen i am not the guy i once was because i am financially motivated to the highest point i have ever been in my life i am killing them right now killing them so the last thing on my mind is brutally training my side pressure every single day okay but don't get it twisted it would not take i am healthy as they come right i am listen i am super healthy right now do you understand i've been forced to add a second camera you mean you have to step your game up because Artem and all those guys did that amazing podcast. Podcast You want to see the secret to happiness is right here, guys. Right here it is. The broadcast from Mississippi? Yes. Yeah, so uh, Zoom. You have to step up your game. Here's the thing. The download for Zoom, your picture comes in good because it's downloaded. The upload Sometimes it's sketchy. My picture falls apart. So now I need a second camera for for the upload. Say, keep the camera on the beast the whole time, bro. I don't know Even how to do that. Even when you're talking. Even when you're talking. I don't, I don't know how to change it in Zoom. Somebody t- teach me. How do we keep the camera on? I don't know, but I am a little hungry. And you know what I do when I'm hungry, right? What do I do when I get hungry? <laughs> you have some beef jerky. You <laughs> already know it you already know it so do you know anything about these beef jerky guys they're sending me a sample i I don't know i don't know what their name is all i know is this is the best beef jerky i've ever had in my whole life and let's put it out there right now for some reason as soon as i put out the survivor beef jerky you can't say you Who's can't say that? Amer- uh, Western Survivor, okay? I put out the Western Survivor, and all of a sudden, start, start over, start, start over, start over. What do you mean? Well, we got to, you almost come plugged up our. With some, I come up with some beef jerky. The beef jerky's name is okay, first Western of all, Survivor. First of all, listen, before you do that, you cannot say the P word. 
They are not our jerky. They are not our sponsors. Let me tell you something about beef jerky, okay? They are not our sponsors. I'm bleeping you out. Okay. I'm bleeping you out because until they send us product, until they send us products. Okay, I got two guys chirping in my ear, and that's Corey West and that Cody Merritt. Oh, Cody they talk Merritt? about f- all this, f- all that. Let me tell you something. Western survival beef jerky is better than f- beef jerky. Just we like not- I'm better than Corey West and Cody Merritt. Are you a dumbass? Gary, are you, you ever going to realize, Gary, you have that now I, I just called. I just called the p- jerky guy 10 minutes before I talked to you. Well, and until I they send the me guy. some product. Show me the money. Until they send me some product, they do they're not get ready their name to on s- here. Dude, they're ready to send us product, but we don't want it because we're Western Survivor guys. Ex- exactly. But, so you cannot but, say the other word. However, you. I'm constantly thinking and evolving. So I have already set this up. Salt Lake City, Utah, $10,000 budget, $55,000 coming from Western Survivor, and $5,000 coming from beef jerky. I'm leaving them. Listen, okay. $10,000 budget. We are going to have five categories we're gonna have beef jerky tasting competition we're gonna have arm wrestling right we are gonna have the 100 meter dash right right and me cody merritt and what's his name what's the other guy's name Corey west can't even remember (laughs) such a damn amateur I'm going to whip all their asses and then I have all five of them. And then we're going to do a little CrossFit workout. I'm an arm wrestle left, right-handed, uh, hundred meter dash and, uh, the, um, the beef jerky tasting competition and the winner takes all. It's a message to the sponsors out there. This is a co-show. I, whether you like it or not, I, I need some of these funds, bro. As this show keeps growing, the money can't just be funneling through a You mean agent. as soon as I get the net fit money, I will send the Western Survivor money. Nat fit, Nat fit is a tattoo on this show. Oh, okay. That's all this was too. <laughs> James Neal Diversified Services. Sponsors. You want great skin? Get on it. Dude, let me you like drink what? a juice box. Look at this juice box. <laughs> I like to thank Sun Cup, Sun Cup, for your right. sponsorship. I, uh, I want to say last something. Last but not least, thank you to Mountain Dew, <laughs> who is our biggest sponsor for T Major. Okay, listen. Uh, I want to. I want to go back to my format because I've, I've had some comments since I released that. Listen, for anyone who's skeptical about I had people 15 knowing- calls that said Gary's idea is the worst idea I have ever heard. Okay, you just cut out. Say that again. What? I had 15 emails, texts, phone calls that asked me if you were psychotic. That's the worst idea they have ever heard in their life. <sighs> Go ahead. And you know what I told them? I love Gary. I believe in Gary. Gary is in charge. That's what I told him. Listen, since I've been in arm wrestling, every practice I've been to, you do king of the table. But it's always heaviest to lightest. But it's awesome. Even that, even the heaviest guy in the room to the lightest guy, it produces some awesome arm wrestling moments when i go leonard and denise's tournaments they've always had an overall they always do an overall (laughs) produces some awesome moments even john berzink when he's had to do 
every weight class or whatever, somebody in there has been an awesome moment. This king of the table concept has been around for forever. To do it by weight class, in my mind, is going to produce, because the weights are closer, is going to produce some awesome arm wrestling moments. And if you allow me to interview people during the experience, it's going to produce a cool show. One that I'm, I'm going to put, I'm going to put, I'll bet somebody it's going to make an awesome arm wrestling show. I do. I do believe that maybe not to Travis and Tom Taylor's level, but still awesome. Well, here's so, what I can tell you. You have my 100% full support. It's yours. Every yeah. single event that I have, you will be more yeah. than welcome to be a part of at your own format. I love it. So I was thinking, so in a traditional tournament, you you have two two opportunities and if you suck you go two and out then uh eric Rusen he did a tournament in 2005 where he did a triple elimination and I, I interviewed him he's like arm wrestlers love this because they get to do a lot of arm wrestling so it's fun for them and i was thinking about this you brought up the idea, so I love it. If you have a 17-man class, first to 17 is out. He's first place. Then the next to 17 is second. Next to 17 is third. Next to 17 is fourth. How much you're going to get minimum, if you suck, you're going to get minimum four opportunities. So for your same entry fee, you get four times potentially the arm. So I think that the top, the elite guys – who can go 17 and 0 maybe will not love it but yeah but if you got a prize if you have a prize there for them they don't have to love it they yeah, just have right. to want the prize that's right it. but i'm i'm saying like the guys out there who maybe so i had the the ruler of the nation right we only had 130 entries it's like terrible and I'm talking to guys, and they're like, well, because I know four to six of the elite guys are showing up equal, I don't have a shot, so I don't even come. Now, in this kind of a format, I think it opens the window for that guy who wouldn't normally show up would show up. Because if those top six guys have to just have all these matches, it could tire some people out. Like well, it will. It will. Yeah. It will. Yeah. So I think it opens the door where your top six at a traditional tournament and my top six wouldn't necessarily be the same. I think it opens the door for two more guys who are not at that level, but maybe can hang. They, they, there's some freaks out there that, that may, they, they may not be elite, but they're those kind of freaks that they get stronger after every match. And even though they can't, beat a Travis Bajan after Travis Bajan's had X amount of matches, you know, you become susceptible, right? No, yeah. listen, it's a fact that we are going, it's going to be different and there's no way possible. It could be any worse than the product we currently have. So I, I love it. Let's that's, go. That's my point. That's my point. So I think, so I've heard a lot of people say we're looking for the next John Brzezink. Where are we going to find it? I think my format is where you're going to meet the, because it, let's say you, we do it in the 20, you want 12 events a year and we do it around. And let's say some guy comes in and he's just walloping people. And you're like, who is this guy? Who is this guy? You know, that's what John Brzezink would have done. Can just keep going through. And funny enough, so Michael Todd is, uh, he's uh, went to Dubai. His first clip, I think it was his first clip where he arm wrestles everybody. And it's like, there's, that's my format. Nice. Guys yeah. Did he beat everybody? Did he beat everybody? I only watched half the clip, but he had some good matches. Uh, so, uh, I, I kind of skimmed through it, but I was just like, uh, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Everyone's staying in a line. Taking on the guy, taking on the guy at the table. The difference is, 
what people are failing to see is that king of the table, it could be king of the table 200. So the guy at the table is the two, the 200 pound guy. Anyways, I'm excited about it. Yeah, you better I, think I, about all the scenarios and I'm gonna be, I can start killing you right now with questions. So, ask me the questions, I wanna so expose them. How, how long, let's just talk about it right now, 15 guys are in the class zero to 165. We hope you like the content. Thanks for stopping by. Please leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. Now click that little bell icon so you get notified. This was Gary Roberts and Travis Page in life. Damn it. Do something up. Get... Don't ever say them two names to me.